Hello everyone, I'm Nathan at the European People's Party, and on behalf of the EPP, welcome to this episode of EPP Family Talks. We are trying today to connect, uh, we're trying for the second time now to connect with our president of the EPP group and the European Committee of the Regions, Mr. Odier Gablevich, president also of West Pomerania in Poland. So we, uh, we had a technical problem a moment ago, we're trying again to connect with, uh, with President Gablevich. This is um, the second time we'll, we'll, we will have had the pleasure of speaking with him. And, uh, and ah, President, there you are. It works. Yes. I'm very glad that finally we are successful. I don't know why we had such a problem, but, but I hope that right now everything will be, will be okay. <laughs> it's always a bit of an adventure uh, with these technical issues in general, but I think uh, with Instagram in particular, but, um, but, but we're so glad to be able to speak with you. This is the second time uh, in the context of this terrible pandemic in the last year, we've had the opportunity to speak with you. Um, and I, I was about to, to say as well, this is an opportunity to promote a big event, which you were going to be uh, leading in the, in the European Committee of the Regions, which is uh, called Recovery in the Post-Pandemic Age at Local and Regional Level on the March, uh, March the 23rd. Maybe, maybe you could first just tell us a little bit about this event. Yes, that's great. First, I would like to, of course, uh, the, invite everybody to, to this event to participate. You can uh, join us uh, because uh, the event will be streamed uh, on YouTube and on Facebook as well. Uh, so I hope that it will be a great opportunity to look at this uh, local and regional di dimension of of pandemic. Because, uh, of course, we will be discussed about recovery. Uh, plan from our perspective it will be the first topic and second topic it will be a green uh, digital uh, resilient europe so we will be talking actually about the, about our future uh, i think that it can be quite interesting because you, as you surely know uh, it is my uh, and not only even my opinion but uh, but it is uh, relatively common opinion that we cannot change reality uh, without changing our uh, local communities. So if we uh, want to be really successful, you ha we have to uh, think globally, but we have to act locally. So that's why I think that it will be very, very, uh, very great discussion, especially that we have, uh, we have uh, the, 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 the speakers from all levels. We have very strong European level. We have uh, Mr. Commissioner Han, uh, Commissioner responsible for a budget and administration, uh, Mr. Commissioner McGuinness, uh, the uh, Mr. Zikrit Mureshan, uh, very influential MEP, and we have our the the the, the leaders from the biggest uh, uh, regions, uh, not only from uh, from uh, West Pomerania region in Poland, just like me, but but because maybe it is not the biggest, uh, it's relatively big. I would like to remind you that my uh, region it is something like seventy percent of Belgium in term of area, so it is not so small but we have uh, but we have uh, our president uh, president of uh, central Macedonia region uh, we have the the mayors of the biggest European cities i mean uh, mr Trzaskowski from warsaw uh, miss uh, the, miss uh, Fendakova, uh, mayor of Sofia mayor of, of Athens. Uh, the Mr. Emil Bok, mayor of Klusnapako, Klush, smaller cities just like Braga, for example, Ricardo Rio from uh, from Portugal. So really, very very uh, uh, strong local regional uh, uh, representation as well as this European level. You mentioned so many things. I want to pick up on there uh, the fact that recovery begins at local level. You mentioned the green and digital aspects of recovery. Could I just first of all ask you about your own region of, of West Pomerania. What's going on there? What's the situation there on the ground? You know, right now the situation in Poland is uh, relatively difficult because, uh, because the, the, the pandemic is really, uh, is really growing. I think that this third wave uh, uh, right now is uh, developing in, uh, in Poland. So, uh, so uh, we have on average something like uh, almost 20,000 confirmed uh, cases per day. So it is relatively a uh, huge number. Uh, in my region, maybe it is not so, not so bad, but, uh, but still we are under very huge uh, pressure from, uh, from this pandemic. As you, uh, as you surely know, in Poland, regional authorities are very, very 
uh, involved in the uh, in the uh, we have very uh, big responsibilities regarding to the healthcare system so so um, uh, i can say that our regional hospitals are in the very first uh, first front line uh, fighting with the pandemic uh, so i have under my uh, I'm, I'm responsible for 13 of regional hospitals. Uh, so uh, right now we are really uh, trying to uh, to provide them with all necessary goods. Uh, fortunately, still we have free uh, free places, free beds. So we have free respiratory uh, devices. Uh, so uh, so it is not very very. Uh, bad, but situation is really serious, and we have to be uh, really fully involved in the uh, in the solving of uh, of uh, or, or in the, with the providing uh, people uh, with a good health healthcare uh, service. And of course, we try we are trying to to push things forward uh, with the vaccination. Uh, but we all know that uh, uh, in whole Europe we still have don't have uh, such a big uh, number of uh, vaccines like we would like to have so we have to be patient and we we have to be very very consequent um, fighting with, with with this pandemic well let me just pick up on that note a few days ago i know that you chaired the epp group and the european committee of the region's coronavirus task force could you tell us what what, what is the work of this task force how are your members working together to help each other uh, better overcome this pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know, we uh, the 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 first purpose of of uh, this of creation of this uh, task force is uh, is to share our uh, experiences because uh, we we have different uh, different experiences in, in different corners of Europe. But in in the fact, uh, finally, we can find some quite interesting solutions in the different part of Europe and and share the, uh, these experiences. So it is the main purpose of, of the commission, we, uh, of this uh, task force. We decided to establish it uh, from people who have experience in, in different, uh, on different fields. As you, sure, uh, as you surely know, in, in, uh, in uh, Committee of Regions, we have six permanent commissions. So uh, in this task force, we have people, uh, influential people from every uh, commission, because I think that uh, yeah. it is it is obvious that uh, this pandemic have an influence on different aspects uh, of our lives. So we would like to not only f discuss about the uh, about the health issues, about the healthcare system, for example, but we uh, but in this uh, pandemic, uh, in this task force. Uh, COVID-19 response, we uh, decided to discuss economic issues as well, problems with the vaccinations, uh, problems with uh, uh, schools, for example. So uh, so we try to uh, follow the different problems uh, which spring up uh, because of fun, fun, pandemic. Last, uh, our last meeting, uh, we had a really uh, very interesting discussion with uh, which, with our prominent uh, member of European Parliament, Ashnel uh, uh, Dilange, and it was uh, really uh, very, very uh, informative for us, especially, especially uh, her intervention was very, very informative. On the other hand, we can share our experiences from this local level uh, and send some messages to the, uh, to the politicians from this European level. I think that it is the uh, very, very important because they have to uh, have some kind of knowledge uh, when uh, they discuss on this European level what should be should be our next uh, actions, next activities uh, uh, regarding to the to the pandemic. So you mentioned there not only, uh, of course, the the health and the medical aspect of recovering from the pandemic, but the economic aspect. And so let's focus a bit on that. So the, the European Union has just agreed the next generation EU package, or as it's commonly called, the recovery fund. How can the recovery fund help in particular local and regional levels like yours in Pomerania? You know, I think that right now the main problem with this package, because of course it is huge, huge opportunity for all of us in every corner in uh, in Europe, in big cities and in the small, uh, in the small villages. But 
but we have to be aware that uh, local and regional level have to be uh, taken on board uh, during the process of shaping uh, these national plans and uh, finally in, in the imp implementation. Uh, why? Because if you want to, uh, th th this money are for, uh, uh, for actually to, to meet two aims. Uh, on one hand, to have an new investments and on the other hand uh, to, uh, to, to, to perform some kind of reforms uh, in Europe. And uh, I uh, can uh, ensure you that there is no, uh, 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 you cannot uh, the, 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 the implement some big reforms without, uh, without this uh, local level. You know, I, I, I know what I'm talking about because, as you surely know, before 1989, uh, so when I was young, uh, Poland was fully centralized country. And, and believe me that communists in those time wanted to perform millions of reforms. Nothing was working. The truth is that uh, when we uh, established in Poland after 1989, the, uh, the, the communists uh, in the first step, later on regions, right now, we are uh, we are able to perform very very difficult reforms and everything works thanks to the uh, local and regional authorities so uh, and the same is uh, with investments of, co of course from this national level you can huge i don't, I don't know huge um, uh, investments for example just like highways okay that's true you can build few few of them but if you want to invest in a smart way uh, money you have to spread it just like seeds uh, if you want to have have uh, if you want to have some good plants in the end of the day so uh, it is impossible to spread this money spread this investment without the local regions we know the best that our SMEs we know our uh, the best our problems with with and for example energy uh, 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 efficient uh, energy efficiency uh, in our households so if you, we want for example have a cleaner air just like in poland we have very polluted air it is impossible to uh, to change our uh, our air without local and regional authorities as uh, some kind of ambassadors, as uh, some kind of uh, uh, institutions who will convince people that they should uh, take care about uh, energy efficiency in their houses. So much of what you were just talking about there, I think, is echoed in the, in the, in the term subsidiarity, which the EPP strongly supports, which just is a big word, which means decisions should be taken at local and regional level. D decisions should be taken as close to citizens as possible. So at local, regional level, a very big priority for the EPP, for the EPP family. Um, could I could we pan out and just take a bit of a, a, a bigger look now? And could I ask you, when you look across the European Union now, how do you see the EPP in particular showing leadership across Europe in the last 12 months or so of this crisis? Mm -hmm. I think that that uh, we should uh, uh, follow our the main ideas we uh, actually uh, and main challenges uh, which actually we uh, noticed and we uh, raised at the main, main issues uh, in Europe because if we uh, talking about uh, green Europe it is actually our idea if we uh, talking about uh, uh, digital Europe it is our idea if we talking about the uh, the more efficient healthcare system uh, fighting not only with the pandemic but for example with the cancer there are our ideas so we have to follow these big ideas because it is uh, it, 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 because uh, it is the, uh, there are uh, uh, real huge challenges uh, if you want to think about about the future of Europe uh, as a good place to live for our for, for our uh, for our kids so uh, we always have been uh, as a EPP uh, responsible party with and responsible people we want to be still responsible and uh, so that's why we have to 
uh, we have to promote such a big ideas. But on the other hand, we have to uh, remember that as a, as a party, we were actually one of our foundation it is subsidiary uh, that we were built as a uh, party who is the, uh, the closest to the people and we have to remember it and we have to promote uh, that's why i think that we uh, it is right now one of the biggest challenge to really take on board all this local and regional leaders to be close to the people because uh, we have to be uh, be aware that uh, that uh, local le regional leaders are the most trusted uh, politicians in Europe. So uh, if we want to be uh, as a uh, as a EPP, if we want to be a reliable party, we have to ha take take on board the most trusted politicians from our party. And on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, we have to remember that uh, as a EPP, we are uh, in power only in the 30% of uh, European uh, countries. So, uh, in many countries, we are still uh, our national parties are still existing and still still are strong because of uh, because of uh, local and regional leaders. We have a mayors, we have a great presidents of regions. We have to uh, take advantage from. Uh, from their uh, their activities uh, on the ground. Let me just ask you one other policy related question before we try to finish on a more personal note. And that is, it's a similar question to the previous one, but uh, if you had to look over the last 12 months and point to one big achievement of the European Union in overcoming this pandemic, what would that be? And then on the other hand, maybe what would be the biggest lesson to learn for a future pandemic? Uh, should should there fu should a future pandemic arise? I think uh, that uh, uh, I, I was really impressed uh, uh, how uh, flexible can can European Commission be uh, uh, in the very first moment when uh, when pandemic attacked us because usually uh, I uh, we all perceive European Commission and some at some you know, uh, uh, ruthless bureaucrats who uh, taking uh, decision, all decision very slowly. And, uh, you know, uh, and what was uh, the, the main achievement that we really uh, uh, shown that, that we can act really, uh, uh, really uh, in, in good pace uh, and we can, uh, take all decisions fast. And uh, the, the first reactions were really, really great that after one month, uh, European Commission said, okay, you can, uh, you can redirect your, for example, EU funds, uh, which, are, which you are managing uh, to, to, to the most urgent issues, uh, to the problems in the healthcare system and uh, to, 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 uh, to help your local uh, economies as well. So I think that we learn uh, in, in this year how to cooperate and how to act uh, without any hesitation, without any delay. And it, it was the biggest achievement. What we learn, I think that we learn a lot, a lot, a lot, because, uh, because, uh, because uh, uh, firstly, we are still learning because it is not uh, the end of the story. Unfortunately, it is not the end of, of, of a story. But I, uh, but we learn uh, about our weaknesses a lot of, of about our weaknesses. We learn a lot if we're talking about the di digital Europe. I think that right now, after this pandemic, uh, all Europe, uh, all Europeans are m more and more uh, 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 digital, because even elder people learn how to use all these uh, communicators, all, all, all these platforms. Uh, I think that in every family, uh, we, we have the same situation when uh, when we learn uh, to 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 discuss with our parents. For example, of grandmas uh, via uh, different communicators. I don't like to promote any, uh, but 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 we know what we are talking about. So I was really impressed. For example, my parents uh, they are uh, relatively advanced 
how how uh, how they learn all this uh, digital co uh, competences. So so I think that 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 uh, we learn a lot in many many different different field, uh, fields, and we uh, should treat uh, this painful experience as a, a really a good lesson to draw a really wise conclusion from them. That's a very positive uh, note, I think, uh, to, to, end, to end with. We try to ask all of our leaders as well, uh, if you have a, a book, a series, a film you would recommend to us. Hmm. Actually, I, do, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know because uh, last month, usually I, I, uh, I'm watching some kind of documentary movies. <laughs> so maybe, so it is not one, the only one, but I would like to recommend you uh, a really great do uh, documents uh, you can uh, find on different platforms. And uh, really it is something, uh, it is something amazing how, uh, uh, how, interest, how interesting is our real life not this from from uh, from this uh, from from movies, uh, but from from our real uh, real life? I I'm not prepared actually, uh, but I can send you a list of of docu uh, documentary movies I uh, I uh, was last time. Documentaries can be great, Mr. Oliad Gablevich. President of the EPP Group and the European Committee of the Regions, President of West Pomerania in Poland. Thanks so much on behalf of the EPP for the great work you're doing. It's so important, uh, exactly as you were talking about, starting at the local, the regional level to work on issues of recovery and to bring all of our EPP members at local and regional level together to share ideas uh, and put ideas on the table for how together to overcome this pandemic. So thank you so much and all the best for your event on the 23rd of March. To all of our viewers, thanks for tuning in and joining us. Please tune in and join us again next time for our next episode of EPP Family Talks. Until then, have a great evening and see you then. Thank you very much, Nathan. Uh, uh, thank you for a great talk. And uh, uh, once again, I would like to invite uh, everybody to, to our great event on the 23rd of March. And stay, stay healthy, of course. See you. You as well. Stay healthy and safe. Bye. Bye-bye.